Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, some more Hill Farm said amazingness. I know because I've had this beer before. Um, this is a rare re review, but um, I think I reviewed this like back in 2015 in a growler. Um, and it's now canned. And the fucking dopest dude in the world, Jeff, sent this. And I am super, super pumped. Um, this is Society and Solitude number four. And I do believe this is kind of a hybrid of double Citra and double Galaxy, <laughs> which is double boner. In my opinion, both of those beers are absolute fire. And this is kind of a hybrid of that, I do believe. So, um, Hill Farmstead, uh, they're in Vermont. Where are they at? Greensboro, Bend, Vermont. Um, it doesn't say the ABV on this. I think this is like a, I want to say this is like an 8% beer. Is that right? I don't remember. Um, they don't put the ABV on, they, or they didn't put the ABV on this label. You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> I'm not even going to document anything. I don't give a single fuck. You do whatever you want, Sean Hill. You are the man. <laughs> uh, canned on November 17th. So we are about three weeks in the can time of recording. I remember losing my ever-loving mind over this beer when I first had it. Um, and it's always fun to like come back to beers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, you know, five years later and see if the beer is still the same, if it's as good as you remember, if it's worse than you remember, if it's not memorable. I mean, I can just tell from opening it. I can already smell it, so <laughs> we're off to a good start. Uh, we are using our Hill Farmstead glassware because beer always tastes better in proper glassware, and this looks just like um, the Edward that we reviewed. Literally just reviewed that beer like five minutes ago. It's glowing. It's I mean, these beers, they're so perfect with their appearance. Every single one of them looks amazing. Uh, about a finger of Bright White Head. It's dissipating rather quickly. Um, kind of sudsy at the top. Super compact bubbles at the bottom. It looks amazing in that Hill Farmstead glassware. I love this little glass. I just love it. I freaking love this glass so much. So, yeah, Citra and Galaxy, um, two of my favorite hops. Probably my two favorite hops, I think. Citra has always been my favorite. First hop I ever fell in love with. Galaxy is fucking amazing. I fell in love with Galaxy when I drank green from the for the first time from Treehouse. So, let's go ahead and shove our fat nose in this one. See what it's got. I will say this about Hill Farmstead. I am bummed that they're out in the middle of nowhere and not a lot of people get to drink their beer because if you were smelling these beers, I mean, <laughs> you can only like say so much on camera when you're drinking a beer. And like literally, these are the best smelling beers of all time. It's fucking crazy. Think if you just took pineapples and oranges in a blender and blended them up, and then you added some fresh hops for like a little bit of like dank kind of green awesomeness. That's what that smells like. It is crazy. Orange juice, tangerine juice, pineapple juice, but it offers like that green kind of hop, just hop matter. A touch of dankness, a little bit of like earthiness in there, but this is just juice, fuck. Seriously, like, how did, I don't know how he does it. It's crazy. This is one of the best smelling beers I've ever smelled. It does, like, it, the reason why it smells so good too is because it smells like hops. Um, when I got this box from Jeff <laughs> that he sent, there was actually a bag of citra, or a little packet of citra hop pellets. And I opened it and I was just like rubbing it all over my face. Um, this doesn't smell artificial juicy. It smells it literally smells like you somehow put hops in a juicer and the juice that comes out is what you're smelling. Like it smells like hop juice. It doesn't smell like artificial juice boxy, like candy, all that stuff. It smells like hops, but it's like, <laughs> like I don't even know how to explain what the fuck it smells like. I don't even care. Let's go ahead and taste it, Jeff. Cheers. Thanks, bro. I'm moving to Vermont. I think I could figure out how to live in the snow. I do. Like, I, dude, I've been in Southern California for almost 10 years. I'm like a fucking shorts and flip flops every day. I could figure out how to how to survive in sub freezing temperatures and like shoveling a driveway. I think I could figure it out. This beer's worth it. I mean, I don't know how long I would last, but I know I could do it for a little bit. I might move like two or three years afterwards. 
after I have no money because I spend all of it at Hill Farmstead. But it, you know what? It's it's got to happen. <laughs> the experiment's gonna happen. We're fucking moving to Vermont. Like I said, I think this beer is eight percent. I can't remember, but I don't know how it's eight percent because it drinks like <laughs> it's like a pale ale. It's crazy, and it's orange juice, pineapple juice, fresh like squeeze tangerines and then you get that rad just hop little bit of bitterness little bit of dankness middle of your tongue to the finish and then it just flies away it's dry and it just makes you want to bathe in this <laughs> this beer is stupid this is so dumb <sighs> I, <laughs> i'm just gonna start I, got, I just got to, Jeff, I got to get your Venmo, bro. I'm just going to start Venmoing you money every every week. And just be like, can you drive back out there and just buy, just whatever I can get with this amount of money. <laughs> just send that. My God. I mean, like, I'm trying to think of what I would change in this beer. And right off the top of my head, it's uh, nothing. I would change nothing. I would put this in IV form and just stick a needle in my arm and do it that way, I guess. This is crazy. The mouthfeel is perfect. It's so soft. And it just, it tastes like you're drinking hot, like, I don't know, whatever. This would, this beer is 100. I, I don't even rate, rate beers anymore, but <clears throat> a numeric grade for this beer is hundreds. This is crazy. Two of my favorite hops just meshing perfectly. It's like the most amazing marriage of two hops ever. There's just a touch of sweetness on the finish of that. It just allows like all the, that juiciness and that little bit of green, bitter, dank thing that you get. It just balances it perfect. It's just an absolute joy to drink. So um, another perfect beer from Hill Farmstead. The best brewery in the, in the world. In the world. <laughs> Not just the United States. The world. Fight me. I will fight every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> that's society and solitude number four if you guys have had it leave a comment below and let me know what you think if you've not had it seek this beer out trade whatever you have i'll tell you one thing like whatever cool high poppy breweries that you live next to you think their beer is good it's not this it's just not so trade all your beer for this and do it you'll be stoked so i'm out of here guys as always thank you so much for watching see you very soon cheers Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.